Good day, my name is Christelle from Franz de Klerk, Independent Technical Analyst. The first one on our list this week is the corn price in dollars in the US. We can see that this commodity is caught within a falling wedge, some might even call it a descending channel, because the mouth and the tail of the formation is almost the same in width. But now it, but it basically tells us it's a positive formation when that upper band waiting at $442 starts to change into, this, into a support. Yes, my red line represented by the 40 week moving average has now changed into a support and that waits at $428. That means at the moment the long term sentiment is positive towards the corn price. The target, should this full formation play out, let's call it a descending or a falling wedge, is $515. Only when this lower band, waiting at $371, starts to change into a resistance, will the optimism around the corn price be negative again. It's, quite, it's been quite a fight if we go back to the history year in May of this year, to keep this 40 week moving average a support and there was just not enough buying power to get that right. However, the corn price came back, found beautiful support here on the lower band here around $386, $384 and then started to make higher lows, which is obviously very positive. Critical level $442 that needs to change into a support. Look at my stochastic, it is an overbought territory. That means the probability for a pullback is there. However, both lines within the stochastic is still pointing upwards, confirming that the momentum to the top is still in place. Tungela. Listen on our JSE, also beautiful um, support on the 40 week moving average. And that's been the case now for the last four weeks. If we go back to history, we can see it in August, struggle to change the 40 week into a support. Back here in May, struggle to do the same. In, in the week of the 8th of April, it, it, it managed to do that for one week, but the following week, the 40 week moving average changed into a resistance again. Again here in January of this year, and if we go back to October 2023, same story. So the critical level is now that 40 week, and that's waiting at 121 Rand 81. If this level can uh, remain a support, the long-term sentiment towards Tungela will be positive. Yes, my stochastic is in overbought territory. In other words, that elastic band is stretched to the side. It's not an ideal pr uh, place to buy any instrument. But the, the fact that my blue line is about to break downwards through the orange line to confirm a negative divergence tells me that the probability is there that I might see a pullback first. However, my candles are a little bit, uh, are telling me indecision. It's not giving me a clear pattern or formation. There's not long upper shadows on my candles. That tells me that the selling pressure is not fierce enough to maybe justify a pullback at this stage. If we add the 20 week moving average, we can see what it's about to maybe break that red line, the 40 week into a support. If it does that, a golden cross formation will be confirmed, which will confirm the bullish trend towards Dungela. But we're not there yet. And again, if we go back to history, we can see here in August, it tried to do a golden cross, was not enough, there was just not enough buying power. It did manage to do that in December of 2023. However, it didn't last very long. It confirmed a death cross formation again in the week of the 19th of February of this year. And again, like a death cross does, it confirms the bearish trend. There was a little bit of a bounce, but true spot, lower highs followed. So it's a critical level for Tungela to see whether that 40 week will remain a support. And if the pullback is maybe a little bit, um, you know, maybe it does pull back below the 40 week, there's no guarantee. The next critical support will be where this, um, um, and I'm going to give you that exact level is waiting, um, and that is waiting at 102 Rand and 10 cents, coming from the low of the week of the 16th of September. If that level remains a support, or if the pullback is higher than that level and starts to bounce again and um, uh, reach for higher levels, that will be seen as a higher low and very positive. 
My next strong resistance that has to be overcome is last week's high, and that is waiting at 135 Rand and 4 cents. Um, so at the moment, not an ideal place to buy, but the technicals are showing a little bit of optimism on Dungela. And the bullish trend will be confirmed, as I've said, when that golden cross formation um, um, takes place. Woolworths, ticker on our exchange, WHL. And if I, I want to, there's a couple of things I want to highlight. One, I first want to take out the noise. I want to go back to a line graph, line graph to clearly show how beautiful the higher lows was confirmed on this graph. I mean, there was pullbacks. But every time if the share found support, the, 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 the support was a little bit higher than the previous one. It bounced, found support, and it was beautifully higher than the previous one. And it did that again and again. Very important. This support in that week on a line graph on the 9th of September, where the share price found it on the 40-week moving average, tested it. In other words, it touched the line bounced from it and kept it a support can be seen as a technical positive technical good buy kiss and that's basically saying listen the buying power is strong enough so i'm leaving the losers behind and i'm going for higher levels and that's exactly what woolworths has done i mean it bounced again a little bit but even that support in the week of the 21st of october was a little bit higher than the one again on the week of the 9th of september beautiful higher lows um, on, on Woolworths is there. Now on a line graph, my next strong resistance is waiting at 67 Rand 59. It's, it's close just above that. So the big test will be, will it keep that level of support? Because then obviously we can go back to other strong resistance levels as targets for upside um, on Woolies. My 40 week moving average is support, as I said, you know by now, it takes the long term, it changes the long term sentiment to positive. Not an ideal place to buy Woolies at this stage. Why? Because it, our indicator is in almost overbought territory. Yes, I've got a positive divergence. That blue line has broken upwards through the orange line. But it's very close to being overbought. In other words, the probability is there that the sellers might, that bought at much better levels might easily start to take profits. Again, if I add my 20-week moving average, beautiful golden cross formation was confirmed in the week of the 7th of October. What does that tell me? The bullish trend on Woolies has been confirmed. And again, um, the, 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 the golden cross and death cross formations don't lie. Look how beautifully it's confirmed the death cross on the 2nd of Jan 2024. And I mean, the bearish trend was just in place ever since then. Beautiful graph at the moment, strong support there. If you want a closer support than the 40-week moving average, you can use that 20-week moving average, and that is waiting at 63 Rand uh, 78. If I go back to a candle graph, you can also see there, look how beautifully this dragonfly candle confirmed optimism, right? In that week, and I'm going to give you that exact week now. This was in the week of the 2nd of September 2024. That's where on the line graph, right, it confirmed the technical good bikers. On a, on a candle graph, you can see it's actually done that three weeks in a row. Beautiful dragonfly. It tested it again in the week of the 9th of September. Kept to the support. Again, it tested it in the week of the 16th of September. Kept to the support. I mean, for three weeks, it gave signals to say, listen, there is enough buying power here to keep this 40-week moving average of support. That is very, very positive. I love the fact that there was a long, lower shadow, a, a long, lower shadow in that week of the 2nd of September. That also just confirms optimism, right? It tells us that there was enough buying power from the dips to lift the share price all the way higher to close at 64 Rand and 11 cents. Again, a little bit of um, optimism again in that week of the 4th of November with a, with a long, lower week. And again, as we've said, beautiful higher lows on the candle graph of Woolies. The next one on our list is an ETF, Satrix China, ticker STXCHN. Um, and we can see, I mean, also a long wait, right? Before we saw some optimism, there was a long consolidation base where this ETF basically just one went uh, south, a little bit of a bounce, then again went south again. What was positive is this support here. Let's just take out the noise and use a line graph. 
The support in the week of the 9th of September again was a little bit higher than the support in the week of the 29th of Jan 2024. But I mean, about basically a year, I mean, the, ship, uh, the ETF bounced a little bit but pulled back nevertheless. But I mean, um, ever since the 9th of September, massive spike went back, found resistance there at 47.48 on a line graph and started to pull back again. Now, the big test is for, obviously. Will I continue to hold this or not, depending on whether you're in a profit or not. But the, if you look at the technicals, what is it saying to us? If I go back to a candle graph, we can see, one, there was a long lower shadow in the week of the um, 14th of October. That tells me there was enough buying to lift this ETF. This week, I'm working on a possible bullish belt with a line candle. So depending on how it closes on Friday, the big test will be it needs to at least close above last week's high <coughs> excuse me and that is waiting at 43 rand 60. if it does that i can kind of say and say listen the confirmation is there there was enough buying power the fact that it is above the 40 week moving average is positive but look at this ladies and gentlemen my stochastic is in mid zone right it's sitting on a 57 and it looks like that blue line wants to turn around and break through the orange line and that will be seen as a positive divergence in mid zone it's not an ideal place to come accumulate or buy any instrument. However, it might tell some. It might say say something for those who are holding on to um, a instrument to say, listen, this might be a short-lived um, profit-taking section, and you might see more upside going. Um, you know, further. You know, um, will the upside might continue and last longer? Because if we go back to his uh, to the history, I mean, this was a, a very sp um, um, a steep spike, a lamp pole formation, and then the, on the candle graph that resistance on the week of the seventh of October, that high was at forty nine rand, and immediately profit taking. So you can you often see that right with such a long consolidation base, base investors get tired. They're like, oh, I just want to get out, take my small profit, or get out for even Stevens and and try to look for something else. But then others find value again in the pullback and then start to accumulate again. Because we can see here in the history, the 40 week again was a critical level that either remained a resistance or once started to change into support, found beautiful upside, tested again, resistance, little bit of a bounce. So the fact that we are above the 40 week is positive at the moment. Let's see how long that lasts. Uh, you can use those resistance levels and the support of the 40 week waiting at 38.49 to make decisions. If I add my 20 week moving average, we can see that in the week, <coughs> excuse me, in that week of the 3rd of June, the bullish trend towards the Satrix um, MEC um, China ETF has been confirmed. When that 20 week broke upwards through the orange, uh, through the orange or the red line, some might um, see that as a red line. And that is confirming the bullish trend on the Satrix um, um, ETF. If you want to use a further a support level, again, you can use that 20 week waiting at 39.23 or the 40 week at 38.49 as support levels to make decisions. Don't forget to send through your emails for a uh, request to admin at francedeclair.com or message us via Twitter. Have a fantastic week. Take care.